Hey, this is Chandra with the God Said This Real Prophetic Word for you guys. It is 6-23-2004 and it is 5.55 p.m. y'all. Yes, so good. God said, my sheep know my voice and I am sending them to you. I'm sending them to you to be trained, to be mentored, and to be led into surrender. I have so many sheep who are being disobedient. I have so many sheep who are not fully surrendered, who want to serve me, but are not surrendered fully. You will teach them how to surrender. You will teach them how being disciplined in obedience will serve them as it serves me. They will glorify me. They will show me their light, but they must fully surrender to do that. God said, it is time to surrender. Mm -mm -mm, Y'all, and I say that with so, such a sincere heart because today I was led to um, sell my SUV. I have had this car or the SUV since um, 2014, right at a time when the Lord was giving me a new start. I bought a splurge like vehicle because I wanted something different. I'd been driving my G35 for um, eight or nine years at that point and I'd gone through um, so much in that that transition that I wanted something fresh, something new just to start new but I um, was blessed that the Lord allowed me to get the SUV and so today well, he told me back in December that I needed to sell and then I procrastinated on it and came um, into um, Tulsa to um, kind of reset and um, just stay with family in this transition, this transformation transition. And um, right around February, he said, sell it. But I held on to it because I wasn't, I had a whole lot of uncertainties and it had literally has been a weight more of an anchor for me than anything just because I um, know that when he told me the first time I wasn't sure but the, him having told me the second time y'all oh he's so good to not hold it um, against me but I am now at a pivot I know that this is a transition window I know that I'm at a breakthrough and this morning he communicated um, as I listened to Priscilla, Priscilla Shire, um, she was a part of the book club for Life Church, and I'll link it in the bio so you can go watch it. But her message was on surrender, and so and I ended up watching it, thinking, "Oh, I missed her because my sister had communicated about her last week or two weeks ago that she was coming to Life Church," and so I end up. Um, this morning watching it around 7 23 or so I um, ended up on their website because I wanted to attend the one o'clock service today well I ended up watching it thinking she was there last week and so when I um, watch it and then get dressed for, for, for church um, the Lord said go go ahead and go and so I ended up at the 8 30 service for life church and sure enough I get there and it was Priscilla Shire again like I needed a double round of communicating and that was really the confirmation that it was time that I needed to be obedient and listen and so as I was driving back in the SUV back to here to the house um, God communicated sell your car like and then I went into a worship um, and got a um, really a third confirmation in listening to Apostle Joshua Selman's word uh, and it literally it it, just, it became so clear that that's what's been the delay. I have been delaying myself because I had been holding back on selling my truck um, because of, that would leave me without um, a ride and so but that meant that I was leaning on my own ability to save myself my own ability to um, be able to go and get help from someone or something and I can't that's not the life that I've chosen I've chosen to to lean on my God my father for all things for anything for everything um, and so 
I came home, um, cleaned out my truck, got online and started the paperwork to do transaction. And then, um, and then so I come back to the, the, the laptop to start looking at flights because I would be um, looking at a flight to take a trip soon, which I didn't have the money to do that, but selling my truck would allow me to have this, have the accessibility to do that. When I open up the laptop, y'all, I see the picture of the sheep. Yes, you like sheep, sheep in, in a, in a pond being refreshed um, as the mountain scape in the background. Um, just really, it, it, spoke to my heart and then the Lord said, my sheep know my voice. And so I am, uh, I'm, I'm taken aback y'all. I'm taken back by it because the season has been so hard and he gives these messages for me to share with you. And as I'm sharing them, some are for me and you, but some are just for you and even even the ones that are not for me, I still give them with my whole heart with joy and with kindness because he has been kind and he has been good. He has been faithful. And all of the the, the, the delay that the enemy has been putting in, in the way of me getting to my next step and my promotion and my level up has... Um, has it, it it takes a toll but when your god calls your name amen when your when your abba calls your name you have to listen you have to listen you have to be fully surrendered to to receive his power and use uh use your voice to glorify him in the light that he's calling you to do it in and we're not called to be dim dimly lit we're not called to be um, a, um, a a choice of whether we want to be the lamp that's tapped once and it's a low, tap twice, it's a medium, tap three times, it's a high. He should not have to tap us three times to get the glow that he is demanding and commanding us to be for him. Um, it should just be, I've called your name, light up and glory to God. He has given me that um, awareness today that um, I have had to be tapped once or twice, two times, three times in this case with the SUV to sell it. And I'm so very grateful that he has allowed me to see it in this way. And so I pray that this word finds you um, in a place of that you're ready to surrender to him. I pray that this helps you. I will link um, both um, Priscilla Shire's message as well as Apostle Joshua Selman's word um, because his word was about surrender and how um, we um, oftentimes think we surrender fully but we're not until he walks you through such a beautiful um, prayer process to get you fully surrendered and the Lord has just given me confirmation with seeing this that my sheep know my voice y'all my sheep know my voice God said and so I will be praying for each of you in this hour. I will be praying that you will lean into hearing his voice to know that you are being called to fully surrender and that he has something greater for you. Because in looking at this, this just shows that as we flock together, that we will um, rise the mountaintop together. So I pray that you will join me. I pray that you will surrender so that you can walk in step with me and pace with me. Um, to follow our Father because He has so much in store for us. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes. At 5.55, God said, My sheep know my voice. And He led me to 1 John 5, 3, 4. This is the love of God that we keep His commandments and His commandments are not burdensome. Hebrews 5.55 means stronger. And Job 17.9 is your scripture for that. And Greek 5.55 means putting off. Colossians 2 11 in him you were also circumcised with circumcision without hands but putting off of the body of the sins of flesh by the circumcision of Christ be sure to take this into secret place as this could be your confirmation that you've been praying for surrendering is definitely in your next step heavenly father we thank you for this word we thank you for your graces and your mercy we thank you that we get to do this with you because we hear your voice in Jesus name we pray amen
Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And if this word is for you, leave it in the comments. I surrender, Lord. Now, God said, go disrupt some ish for his glory, y'all. Bye.